And turn to page 46. Oh, I have to break into tears. Yes, go! <laughs> But that was a very challenging thing to do because it was very intense, it was very quick, and it was on camera because they were recording it. But the, fun, the funniest thing is doing the scene. I don't remember the lines, of course, but you know. And then, and then I hear the camera guy, okay, well, we're good, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. So it, it make me look it's like a switch, isn't it? You can turn it, it on and off any time. I can do it now, but I won't. <laughs> Daddy's gonna be able to see you a lot more. Daddy's gonna be able to see you a lot more. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. You are a machine. <laughs> I should be applauding you right now. What, what about you? I'd have to break it down to two: the the, the prelay animation and the anime. In, in anime, it would have been. Uh, Kirby Morrow myself fighting when I was playing Super Majin Buu. So I'm on that ball! It was insane, like, because, um, and I'm sure if you, a few of you have heard me say this before, with the, with the fighting scenes in Dragon Ball Z, they had to um, cut it together because, I mean, they were so inhuman in the land of these fights. It's like, ah! And you're fighting all the way through, and then you just kind of cut it. It just cut. And then the director will queue up the next, you know, ten minutes of fighting like that, and then it... Beep, 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 and your headphones in the air. Ah! <laughs> and you're in the face, and you go along. And they, they, these seats were, it was just insane. And when I first got that part, I thought, oh, you mean he might be an incidental character, we'll have to do this a few times. I don't know, 147 <laughs> something episodes later, I don't know how I, it was insane. I've never, never put my voice through anything like that. So I mean, anytime I had Dragon Ball Z on my schedule for the week, I had to make sure with my agent that they book it near the end of the week because if I had an early session on Monday or Tuesday, forget about working the other stuff. <laughs> later in the week, it was just too tolling. Um, after that, we worked on the Fantastic Four. And in the episode, uh, I played Ben Grimm on the show. And on the, that horrible thing, yes. Uh, in the episode where we had the, uh, well, Ben meets the Hulk. Um, oh my gosh, it, it was it was insane. Uh, the, the guy that was playing the, the Hulk, his name's Mark, do you know his last name? Yep. Mark Gibbon, he's huge, a huge Hulk of a man. <laughs> Hence the casting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he, when, when he talks, he's got this natural thing. Like, Here's lungs. They're huge. Right? Actually, he's on. Uh, I, I picked out his voice on uh, Ghost of the Shell. I see it right away. Oh, yeah. That is really good job. I mean, I can't even. And again, I mean, this is his natural timber. Like he, he's just got this. I can't even get there. But um, <laughs> I knew that it was going to be a bit of a challenge because we had to like battle back and forth, like for the majority of the episode. And uh, <laughs> the director kept a Carl kept on coming on and saying. I, it sounds great, Brian, but uh, Mark's just got a lot more girth. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat starts coming down, and I'm just like, oh, oh boy. So we, we, we went through this the whole day, and I put out everything I possibly could, and in the end, I tore my larynx and put me in hospital foot, and I was basically out of work for an entire month. <laughs> Had to go with no pad and paper to people. <laughs> And that kind of screws your schedule. There's other directors and other shows that I'm working on, and if something like that happens, they're just like, what were you doing? You know you had us tomorrow. And of course, that show, everyone's show that you're working for is better than the other show that you're working on, right? So, you know, I was the dink. Yeah, yeah that, uh, yeah, I had, uh, actually, that was a tough one. My, my worst uh, episode was, uh, it was an episode of my life, Trevor Val versus the Hulk. And that's, that was, rough. that was a rough day, a rough. You were the know. I was uh, yeah, no, it's in the show fantastic four. Yeah, it's right in the back here. Yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you in your recording In a session? What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened in a recording session? Well, with that we lost Trevor. <laughs> You see, about two weeks ago, something very embarrassing happened to Trevor, and no. <laughs> no, it's a sad. Oh, it didn't close. It didn't close. <laughs> there we go. A little quality and control. It's a back door, too. That's the most embarrassing thing. So. What's the question? What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in a voice recording session? Trevor, go over. Well, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this story. 
I'm looking forward to it. Um, at Ocean. No! You cannot come here. You must stay outside. Uh, at Ocean. Uh, with Carl and Mike Isk, who was uh, the engineer there for a long time. We, uh... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. All right, now you he takes the cake, the most embarrassing thing in the world. Right now, there it is. Wow. Uh, at Ocean, I have this, um, reputation of being somewhat crude. And, uh... In fact, it's my goal when I go in there to try and make Carl, the director, go, Oh, you can't say that! That's my goal. <laughs> so one day, I, I forget what show we were working on, but uh, there was all kinds of suggestive possibilities with the line that I was saying, and of course I hit them all. And uh, I had him do that. But he was laughing really hard at this point, and I couldn't figure out why? Because I was like, well, it's not that funny. But he was really laughing in a way that made me think uh, he knew something I didn't. Because he did know something I didn't. And what he knew was that halfway through the record, the door to the studio had opened. And I can't see the door. In Ocean, in the big studio, you can't see the, the door. You can just see the technician, the director. And the casting director, Randy, had walked in and sat down on the couch, which also I couldn't see. <laughs> so, why he thought that was so funny is because essentially my boss had walked into the room as I was wasting time and goofing off in a very crude way. And I think some of the lines were, well, I, you know, I, I, I don't even dare to repeat them, but <laughs> they made the outtake real, certainly. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that was that wasn't that wasn't very good. Incidentally.